What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and welcome to another Legend Review. Today guys we're going to be looking at the 87 rated Italian centre attacking midfielder slash centre forward slash striker. You know the deal guys. We're going to be looking at Zola today. Now Zola's card looks like a pretty beastly card. Looking at his card face he's got 84 pace, 90 dribbling, 85 passing and 82 shooting. Now those are the four stats you're going to be looking at because pretty much anyone that uses him is going to be using him either as a striker a centre forward or a, a centre attacking midfielder maybe there's a handful of you out there that would like to try him as a central midfielder because he's got good passing and a player with good passing will probably get the job done very well as a central midfielder me personally I played him as a cam well I played him everywhere and he played best for me in the centre attacking midfield spot looking at his in-game stats guys he's got a few 90s 94 ball control curve and dribbling 92 free kicks 89 finishing 88 acceleration 88 agility 92 balance and reactions 87 attack attack positioning so his card face stats and his in-game stats are very very impressive i mean me personally for an 87 rated legend those card face stats and in-game stats are very very good but the question you guys are going to be asking yourselves and you want to ask me is does he play like that on the pitch now i've got to give you a hell no I was extremely disappointed with this guy. As you saw from the record at the start of the video, I played about 15 to 16 games with him. He only scored four or five goals for me, but he made about 15 assists, which is crazy, you know? This guy is definitely more of an assisting player rather than your long shot taker slash uh, finisher. Now, pretty much a lot of the things you're going to see in this video is assisting, you know, uh, assisting the rest of the team, you know, crossing in from corners, which I was able to finish and score headers with, or just playing an amazing through ball through, and my players were able to finish it. This guy's passing is absolutely fantastic. Definitely 100% his best trait is definitely his passing. His dribbling and ball control is absolutely fantastic as well. You know, the, just dribbling in and out of defences and in and out of players to create chances was extremely easy with this guy. And his pace is really good as well. It says 84 on the card. i got to say he felt slightly quicker than that. His pace just made it so easy to run through teams, create chances, and it was just fun just seeing how easy it was, basically, to just run past players and run through my opponent opponent's teams it was just unbelievable you know that's all the pluses i've got with him guys unfortunately his minuses he is very very weak he got muscled off the ball by pretty much anyone that tried to take the ball off him he's very poor in the air the boy i think is only like five foot seven five foot eight so you can only expect him to be very poor in the air uh, he's got terrible shooting guys this guy's shooting is honestly one of the worst shots i've ever experienced using in ultimate team the create the, the chances he created was absolutely fantastic but as soon as he got near the goal he just failed you know literally he was he, he just failed that's all i can say about it and to make things worse he missed three open goals for me now i can guarantee you it wasn't me i shot like i shoot every time with every player that i use in ultimate team so i know it wasn't me but he just failed for me and he missed open goals, he missed simple chances with either foot and I gotta say he's got one of the worst shots that I've ever experienced using in Ultimate Team. He's got very very poor position and he was all over the place everywhere I used him. As a striker he was never to be found uh, and he never made runs. As a centre forward the exact same story. As a centre attacking midfielder it wasn't really much of a, an issue as a centre attacking midfielder because in that position he's more of an assist which is why I thought he was played best as a centre attacking midfielder because in that position he's better at assisting you know this is what I'm trying to get at you know so in my opinion I gotta say he's definitely not worth the coins because he was just horrible in my opinion you know he's definitely more of an assistant midfielder rather than a long shot taker like i just said maybe if you're looking for an attacking midfielder that is good at passing then i would recommend him for that reason only but other than that guys he's, he's kind of terrible you know passing is really the only thing you're going to want to buy him for that's the only thing that he done well for me i mean buy him yourselves and let me know how we perform for you but other than that guys he was kind of terrible. I'm not going to be buying him back soon. Maybe if I make an Italian squad build that I'll buy him back. But I'm not going to buy him in the future and enjoy him, is what I'm trying to say. So that's going to wrap up my legend review of Gianfranco Zola. 
I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is always greatly appreciated. And hit the subscribe button today if you haven't already. And as always, from me, guys, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.